Okay, Boker Tov. Today's daf. Today's daf is the Samach test in Gitten. As we learned for a full Shlomo for Elizabeth and Uma, and for Yosef Zerub and Chaim Michal, and for uh, Tamar Chana Bas Frida. Omar Mar, we're 14 lines from the bottom of Samach Test Marav. That's where we got to yesterday. We're still in the middle of the remedies, which will take us into tomorrow's daf. The remedies that we got into because of the beginning of the sechta, the beginning of Parakas Mishach Sekadaikas, and we got Kadaikas, and we said that came from Shadim, but there was a solution for it. There was a remedy. You take uh, the uh, raw meat on the coals, etc., and the uh, diluted wine. And this got into with the topic yesterday of, of the uh, Shadim and how the Shadim came about, etc., and the story with Shlomo and the Shadim. And, uh, <clears throat> and today, and then we got back into the remedies. So in the middle of these remedies, Omar Mar. We talked yesterday about the last remedy we were talking about when you had blood coming out of the mouth. We weren't sure if it was from the uh, from the um, lungs or from the liver. Uh, so, uh, so we said that uh, you, you could test it with a wheat straw, and if it's coming from the um, if it if the blood attaches itself to the wheat straw, then it's coming from the lungs. If not, uh, and and it can be re- and it could be fixed. It could be repaired, remedied. The low, if not, it's coming from the liver and there's nothing to do. And what do we mean here? When there's no liver left, the whole liver has been totally dissolved, then it's gone. Omar Mar Imer Reyavsi said, if it, could, if it comes from the lungs, it's like Tekanta, it has a remedy. My Tekanta, what is the remedy? Let's say Shiva Kune Mifirma the Silka, you should bring seven fistfuls of hashed beets, the Shiva Kune uh, Firma the Karti, and seven uh, fistfuls of mashed leeks, Hamisha Kune Kune Frida and uh interesting we just talked about Frida, right? I don't know if I'm to, about Frida. Hamisha Kune and you have five fistfuls of juju. That's what uh, that's what uh, Frida is, juju. The Tlasa Kune the Tafli and three fistfuls of lentils, the kuna the kumana, and a fistful of cumin, cumin, the kuna the chavli, and a fistful of flax, and uh opposite these, meaning like the amount of all these together, the, all these different fistfuls, you count them all together, the same amount of uh, kinsa, which is the uh, the entrails, the uh, uh, the intestines of an an of uh, kinsa petirta. What does it mean? Of entrail of an animal that was the first born to its mother. Okay, the first one, the, the one that was petarechem. You take all that stuff, the avalivshel, and cook it all together. Balechel and eat it. Balishti abasra and drink it down, wash it down with shifchach ripa with strong with strong uh, beer, the Tavis that was made in the month of Tavis in the winter. Right? That's the way to solve that problem. Okay, the Sheikh Rechrif is strong here from uh, Tavis. The Kocha, Kocha means you had a toothache. Chole Shinaim Apim, you had an inner toothache. Amr, what do you do with, what do you, how do you solve that? Amr, Rav Arakuna, Lese, Tumi Chidot. You bring a garlic, a garlic head that there's only one, one on the, one stem. There's only one stem. The <laughs> nimrase and grinded the mishkan oil, umilcha and salt. The nisfei atufroi daluna daigisa, and you put it on the thumbnail on the on the thumbnail of the of your uh, thumb uh, of that side where the tooth. Let's say the toothache is on the right side, so you put it on your right thumbnail, the kai the, the side that's uh, that's hurting and that's painful. The nederle gadamfa delish delisha. And you put around it a rim of dough. The Nizar Labasa make sure that this concoction does not touch your skin. The Kosh of the because that can cause leprosy. Interesting, you know. In other words, you got you put a little bit on your thumbnail where it won't be absorbed. <coughs> and um, and with that, I told about Super Shazan, the Nizar Besser so you got also shumba shouldn't touch the uh, the regular skin. Apparently. What it does is you put in your thumbnail on, on that side and you stick it on where the where the pain is, but be careful not to get it on your skin. Uh the swollen glands. Amra what do you do? Khumsi, pellatory leaves, kimaru, uh, pellatory leaves are as good animals as mamru. Mamru is also some sort of a herb that was very, very good. Uh told before is come in ace of shikar and mamru, some sort of an herb. The ikran de chmasan other from mamru. And the root of these pellatory leaves is even better than mamru. The nikkah, but put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. 
Hani le'ukme, that's just to keep it from spreading, from the swollen gas from getting worse. Lepshule, to soften them up, in other words, in getting ready to uh, break it open and heal it, to soften it, lysi, uh, pari de reish, it brings some bran that sits at the top of the sieve, in other words, like the guk that sits at the top, the talfi and lentils, bafrai, in their dirt, when just straight out of the ground with their dirt, don't wash them off yet. The shublisa and fenugreek, the humrus of the kshusa and half a blossom, the ninko, the kanduza, the pumain, take from that concoction, put like a nut, a size of a nut in your mouth. That will be to soften it up. Liftuche, and then to open up the womb, in other words, they, to like to sort of to crack open the, uh, uh, the, the, the pus and get it out, to crack open the skin. Have somebody else blow into your mouth. Tachli uh, chivrasa, unripe uh, date seed, uh, date pits, or un unripe date pits. Tachli uh, really date seeds, I guess. Uh, what is a limchum garam Right. Um, so he says, yeah, these uh, date seeds, uh, unripe date seeds, put them in your mouth, I guess, from uh, the date seeds or date pits that are unripe. The gil the chitza with a wheat straw. Let him let your friend take a wheat straw and blow these unripe date seeds into your mouth, and that will that will um, open up the wound. In other words, the first thing is to, to to, to keep it from spreading. Then the next step was to soften it up. Now you want to blow these things in there to crack it open and to, to open up the uh, the wound and to take out the pus. La suke, to heal it, lacy afra. He told basically, he brings some dirt from the shade of the basic kisa. And we don't mean in a bathroom, you're not outside where they had a basic kisa. He takes some dirt from around the shade around there. The nigbo baduksha and roll it, knead it in honey. And eat that. The malila, that's very good. Okay. And that's not from the place where, where one relieves himself. It must be from that around there and the shade of the basic kisi. Somehow maybe the smell or the or the uh, whatever gets in the the it gets absorbed in the ground and maybe the dirt around there has some medicinal effect. La barsam. What is barsam? So here Rashi tells us barsam is um some sort of a head disease. Maybe it's an inflammation of the head, goes into the sinuses, comes down to the nose. Laisiki pistaka, take like the pistachio nut size of the nizdor of gum, um, gum ammoniac, it's called gum ammoniac. The chiam guza and the nut size, the chalbana, the chalbanisa, the bishop of sweet galbanum. Umali tarbana dufsha chibra and a spoonful of clear honey. Umali Nakla Bas Mahuza. Nakla is a is a measure from in the city of Mahuza. That was a certain measure. Take a full measure of of what? Of Kharmanakita of clear wine. Finish the kinu body dadi and cook it all together. When the Nijdor, which we said is the gum ammoniac, when that is boiled, Bashal Kul, you can tell then the whole thing is boiled. If that boils, that's good enough to have the whole thing is is uh, is boiled at that point. Um right. Um Right. So we said before, tachli is the shom, those are the seeds, right? They're not kids, those are the seeds, apparently. Um, and I don't know what he means by unripe, then. They're, they're, they're not ripe. The tachli chibus are unripe ones, like, like white ones or, or unripe ones. Uh, I guess that they're just not uh, ready to, to be planted. In any case, here we're talking about, in this case, so when this is all boiled up, this is for the, uh, I'm jumping around, I was talking before about the, um, how to how to uh, heal the wound in the mouth, right? How to heal the or the swollen glands. And now we're talking about um, barsum, which is uh, like a sinus infection from the head. So you bring this concoction, this pistachio nut size of gum of gum ammoniac with the galbanum and the sweet galbanum, the sweet galbanum, and the spoonful of um, of clear honey and the amount of clear wine, and you boil it all together. And when the Ammoniac is uh, totally boiled, then the whole concoction is boiled, it's ready. Below, you can't get all that. Lacey, Ravias, or the Chalba, the Isa, bring a Ravias, that's an amount of, of milk, the Isa, of a white goat, bring his milk, in the Taifa Atlas, we're on the base now, and dip it in uh, three stalks of carob, carob of carob, and stir it with a stem of marjoram. 
it's also a plant. The chiboshal gavis of marum, when that's cooked up, when that last item, when the stem of the marjoram is cooked, then bashal you know, in other words, when that's boiling, when that's real hot, you can tell the, it's ready. Below, if you can't do that, lacy dafki the kalva, bring the excrement of a dog, of a chibra dog. They're always white, these things, of a white dog. The nigbo benitva and and uh, roll it or knead it in balsam. The kamadevshir naf, the kamadevshir nafkalech, if it's possible, don't eat this. So it's probably for one of the other uh, uh, selections, one of the other alternative medicines, because um, I guess alternative medicine is a good a good pun here, right? Uh, one of the other medicines, right? Because um, that's not good, the mafic, because that can loosen your loosen your your bowels right? or, or your limbs. It's not good to eat a dog excrement. By the way, you see over here, apparently it's not an agent of kashras. You know, it's just that uh, sometimes that's a good uh, a good uh, remedy. All right, ligira. Gira is another kind of this holy shakar and ashpunta. It's not clear what that is. Gira means era, we'll see. Maybe it's called that because of the uh, because of the uh, remedy. What's the remedy? Lacey gear the lilta. You bring an arrow of lilith. What is that? So Rashi explains that <clears throat> this is a arrow that's like comes from a lilith stone, which is made in the shape of an arrow and falls down with the with um, hail. It's like from a hailstorm or maybe from a meteorite. It's like the stones that come with a meteorite. It comes in the shape of an arrow. Take that. Then if they turn it upside down with a point down, finish the mayo, put some water on that, finish the, and drink that water. Drink the water that, that poured over a meteorite stone uh, in the shape of an air. Be low if you don't, if you can't find that, those aren't very handy, you can't find them. Be low, lice in the mayo, the ishti minayo kaoba. Let's not drink the water that a, a dog drank from it at night, then it's darby galu, but make sure that it wasn't left, the water wasn't left exposed. The more was always concerned about exposed water because snakes might throw their venom in there, it would be dangerous, right? Sakanta, uh, sakanta is worse than a humra, right? It's, it's a more humra than, than a humra. So, um, than isura rather. Sakanta, hum, uh, 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 um, sakanta is more stringent than an isur. And this is a, this is a second. So be careful not to drink it exposed. In other words, you want to drink this water that a dog drank from at night to make sure it wasn't exposed. If you did drink water that was exposed, like you, Luya, if you drank water that was exposed, what do you do? There's a possible venom in there. Amka v'cham. Amka is like a revius. It's, it's an amount of, uh, of cham rachai, of undiluted wine. Uh, that's what you drink if you have a very strong wine, undiluted. In those, in those days, the wine would come, you have to put in three parts water to one part wine. So you drink it undiluted. That'll take care of the a poison of the undiluted of the uh, uh, of the exposed water that you drink that might have venom in it, snake venom. The morsa for an abscess, you want to get the pus out. Antika de Hamra, uh, you take a revius of wine, the ola tulana in red aloe. Um, uh, that's what you drink. You drink that, that'll help for an abscess. La pircha, um, you just see what Rashi says over here. Uh, so apparently, if you drink that, that'll help the abscess. You think you'd have to treat it externally. Lepircha, if a person is a, a pircha, believe it, a person feels faint of heart. Lacey Klaus, a Barusha, the sorry, bring three cakes, three uh, barley cakes, and soak them in kumcha. Kumcha is the famous kusach that we talked about, kusach bavli, which is uh, uh, used uh, like uh, sour milk with uh, dried bread and salt. Soak it in that. The uh, low It's got to be. It's got to be fresh. Doesn't has not more than forty days old. Then echol and eat that. Then ishti and drink afterwards. Hamamirka diluted wine. Diluted wine. Marcus diluted. That's going to make you even more faint. Amalei. I know. I know. Legally, I wasn't talking about having a faint heart. I was talking about having a heavy heart. Apparently, uh, some sort of angina, or maybe the next thing's an angina. We'll see. They have a heavy heart, Shalibo covered a lover, she says. Um, that's what the, the, the previous solution was for that. The Pirchaliba for faintness, for being for faint, uh, for uh, having a faint heart or being or fainting a lot. Pirchaliba lace it fast, Bushai Sabahit did not barley cakes, but three uh, wheat cakes, Mishreda Batufsha, and, and soak them in honey, Venechel, and eat them, Venishta Basra, and drink afterwards Hamrachaya, undiluted wine. Let's see if it'll but this is for pressure of the heart. Maybe that's angina, not clear. Lacey plus Bea Nenina bring three eggs, uh, the size, I mean, the measure of three eggs of mint. Bea said, and a egg, a measure, an egg measure of uh, cumin. 
and an egg measure of of sesame, balechol and eat those. Cave mea, if you have stomach pains, lacy plus mea, hopefully over. If they bring three hundred long pepper grains, and every day drink three of them, uh, drink a hundred of them, the hammer in uh, in wine. So if you bring three hundred, that means it's three days. This is important. We'll see later on tomorrow's stop that. That most of these concoctions were usually used for three days or seven days or twelve days. Rabban de Benarsh hid that that rabbi Avilei Lebarsi Ravashi made for the daughter of Ravashi Mea Vachamshin Mehani 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 Didan from our long uh, from our long pepper grains. She he made him she he made for her uh, this uh, concoction of pepper grains and uh, eating them with uh, the wine. And the Itzi, and she got uh, she got um, healed from that uh, problem, right? From the, from this problem of um, of, of uh, pressure of the heart. Okay, Likirtsa. What is Kirtsa? Rashi says intestinal worms. Likirtsa amka de chamra again a revius of wine the atrofa de ara with bay leaves. Likirtsa chivra if you've got white intestinal worms. Lacey, Bizra, Goglisa, bring Erica seeds. That's what it's called. It's Benetzire, Beshiste, and uh, wrap it up in cotton cloth. Benetzire, and soak it in Mayan water. Benetzire, and drink that. And you drink that. Benetzire, and Binsa, but make sure don't swallow the seeds themselves, the, the kernels, the low Lamani, because that could pierce the bowels and cause you problems. Lamaser, to, um, to use if a person has a uh, social person has diarrhea and he wants to, you know, uh, solve the diarrhea problem, season retiva, bring uh, moist polio seeds, moist polio, polio is a plant, uh, bring moist polio bamaya in water, lameshra, the other way around, if a person is constipated, yabishta bamaya, then bring dry polio in water. But similar, similar you should remember is itza retiva, there is a, a to, uh, the, the, the sakhar nara. How do you stop up the river? By using moist. Uh, itza. Itza is a kind of a grass or an herb. Himesa. So in other words, if you want to stop something up, you use moist. If you want to loosen it, you use uh, dry, which you may think would be the reverse, but that's the symmetry. to remember that. If you has an inflamed spleen, lacy shev bina demaya, bring seven water leaves, then you have shen batula, and you dry them out in the shadow, in the shadow. Now it's not in the sun. And every day drink two or three of them in wine. This is amazing to me. It sounds like a water leech is kosher. You know, where, where do we get that from? It's not like, you know, it's apparently some sort of a, you know, what is a leech? It's not a fish. It's, it's what is it? If it's a fish, it doesn't have schnapp here because guesses. Pardon? Sheritz. It's a sheritz. It's a sheritz. It certainly can't be eaten. So how do you eat this? I understand this. The elo, and if not, if you can't find that, lacy tachla de tzifrasa. Bring the spleen of a goat, uh, of a goat, the uh, low iftach, that has not given birth yet, right? A tzivrasan is a female goat that hasn't given birth yet. Then a taiba tanura, take that spleen after you shechted it and roast it in the oven. Put a stick it into an oven, not as a roast it, stick it into the oven, right? And the nukula day, and you stand by the oven as it's hot, the name and say these words. Now we get into another uh, one of these incantations. The yavish high just like this. Spleen is being dried up. My, my spleen should also dry up, meaning it's inflamed. It should dry up. Be low, and if you can't do that, Nakaya Beni over, if you can't uh, take this um, uh, spleen and put it by an oven, if you don't have access to an oven, put it between the bricks in orbit the base of the new house, between the stones. Then a can say the same thing that the just like this spleen is being dried up, so shall the spleen, my spleen, dry up. Be low, and if you can't do that, Lipki Shikba. Search for a person who died. The shepherd of the just died on Shabbos, meaning he hasn't been buried yet. The initial Yari take the corpse's hand, the Nosvah Tachle, and put it on his spleen, or yeah, his spleen, Benayim and say, Kiechel, the Yavish Hayoda, just like this hand is withered, the Yavish Tichle, the point of our Samai, his spleen should also dry up. Interesting, you know, take the hand of it. You ever see something like that? I guess if he's a coin, he can't, that you won't help, he can't touch it. He's a coin, he can't touch a dead body, right? So, uh, right? so, uh, solution for people who aren't gone. The if, if he's a coin, he's got to do one of the other solutions, get the oven below. Can't do that. Nicey binsa, 
let her bring a fish for the taiva of ben afra and roast it at a blacksmith where things are hot. Then I'll have a maid mafra and eat it with, with the water. In other words, the, the smith, you know, he's got the hot fire as he's uh, as he's uh, shaping and forming the metal. And then what does he do? He puts it in cold water, right, to strengthen it. So, but the water is hot. But you could, you know, it's it's hot, but it's also it's not hot. It's cold water, but it, it cools the stuff off, and it's got medicinal value to it also. And if she eat it with the water of the smith, in other words, you should eat it in the water, dip it in the water of the smith, and drink the water of the smith. Many times you find that you're supposed to dip something in water, eat it with the water, you dip something, or if you toggle in the water, also drink that water. Now, you see over here that the smith's water has a medicinal effect on, um, on a person who has an inflamed spleen. So he tells me now a story. He is of the Havashasi Amaya. There was a goat that was drinking the water, the Menachma of the smith. Ishrit, that way he shechted it, it's kosher animal, he shechted it. There was no spleen at all. In other words, that water of the smith, not only does it reduce it in size, it reduced it in size so much that it was gone. And it's and it's not a trait for uh, missing a spleen is a you know, animal or a person can live without a spleen. Below, if you don't have the lift the chavisa the chamer lishmei should open to open up a uh, a good barrel of wine you know, for that purpose. And Rashi explains what that means is you should always drink good wine. Only Rachel Bray the Rabbi Rashi Yisle chavisa the chamer if he's got a good bottle a barrel of wine to drink. Well, Rashi look I made a He said to Rashi, I'll never come to you for for a medical problem because. Good wine will keep away all the medical problems. So, so if a guy's got good wine, he doesn't need all these other solutions. He's not going to have an uh, inflamed spleen to begin with. Ella Moraga, the person doesn't have wine. If he's got good wine, then that'll that'll prevent. That's a preventive uh, measure for not having an inflamed spleen. But if he doesn't have good wine, Ella Moraga, the pashachris, that what he should do is instead is have a good uh, breakfast each day with uh, bread. The ma'alulakuvu, that's good uh, for his whole body. The Rushkosa, Rushkosa is hemorrhoids or anal worms. Uh, Lace which she bring akika, she bring acacia, the ilva, and aloe juice, uh, aloe juice like the juice that came from aloe. Vaspircha and white lead, umarscha and silver dross like the uh, the crud of the silver, the, uh, the lousy part, bad part of the silver. The humrasa the pilon and an amulet or a little vial of phylum, which is like a perfume which women use. The shiafa de chamimsa. Shiva Chamimsa is um, bird dung. Rashi says here, yeah, it's so is yon of doves or some say of, uh, of um, chickens, but it's some sort of a bird dung. The uh, ninkot and wrap it, tie it up. The shachak, the kisna, in linen rags. The kaita in the summer, because that'll cool it off. The amagaf in the sense in the winter, we wrap it up in, in woolen uh, in, uh, in, or in cotton. Uh, in the summer, do it in linen, in the cotton, the Amr Gafman, I guess, is in, in cotton in the in the winter that'll warm it below. And if you can't do that, okay, just, and what do you mean? What do you do with it then? You place it, also, you place it over there. You place it where, in, in, at the, um, uh, you know, place it down the, the Osamakum in that spot. You put it there, that'll, uh, the Osamakum, you put it in that spot in his uh, anus. Um, to, to solve that problem. In other words, that concoction of the lead and the aloe and the acacia and the silver dross and the phylon and all that, you tie it up in the rags of linen or rags of cotton in the winter uh, to either cool it off or to warm it up. And if you, love, you can't do that, Mark, if you can't do that, you should drink uh, diluted beer, diluted strong drink, uh, and that to, you know, to solve the problem of hemorrhoids. The shigrunya. What is shigrunya? What does Rashi say shigrunya? Shigrunya is a disease of the hips, the hips or the haunches, the shigrunya, lacy pasia de munini. You bring pasia munini. Well, what's that? Rashi tells us that's a vessel that's full of fish brine uh, from a small fish. And, and rub it, she sends in a high metre 60 times on one hip, and she sends in a high metre on the other hip. But smirsa, smirsa Rashi says is what? Let's see. Um, smirsa, even I get off. Oh, this is a stone, a stone in the urinary tract. We know about those things, right? But smirsa, Nasi plus, and it's bring three drops of mishcha, the kufra of, of um, 
tar oil, the class and faisa, itzra, the karsi, and three drops of uh, leek extract, the class and faisa, the chamra, nikida, and three drops of of um, wine, uh, clear wine, the lishti lay, the ishbomen, put that inside the man's penis, or the ishabosamakam, or put it by a woman's, in a woman's vagina, uh, to solve the problem of the stone, the ilo, if you can't do that, lysi, una, does it bring the the neck, like the ear, because at the ear of a bottle, of a bottle, the lesle leish, and hang it on his on his aver, the leish of doesn't hang it on her breast to solve that problem. I don't know how that solves it, but apparently that's a solution. Be you can't know do that. The rest of the stuff solves yeah. it. Yeah. Be low. I can never understand putting something in there. The first solution, at least you put some concoction in there and it right. works somehow. How did this work? I don't know. Be low, Lysi, who did this? Does not bring a red? This is a real one. Look at this, a, a red thread. The shad, the shad to say that was spun, Duma Bastuma, by a woman of ill repute, the daughter of another woman of ill repute. Uh, bring that. The lesser of the and again, hang it on. This is not putting it inside the Amma. Hang it on his arm, hang it on his on his gear, on his uh, penis. Alicia Badad and hang it on her breast. Be lucky, you can't do that. Lysi Kina, the Zafra gave her. Bring a louse from a male and a female person. Take a louse off a man and a person. The listener the Ishba Amen hang that on a person's on a man's uh aver, will be Ishabosamakum and hang it on right at her vagina. But he mashkin now and when he urinates afterwards, okay, this will help it come out. I guess we'll use it out when it when it when he when he when he, when he uh, urinates, Nashna Sisna Yvesha, he should pour, he should uh, urinate on um dry thorns, but Sinur the Dasha at the door socket, then I am the and check for the uh, for the item itself, for this homer, meaning for the stone, the I mean, I look at what the solid thing that comes out of him, this homer comes out. In other words, he should catch the stone if possible, find that stone, the ma'ayla lukot, which is good for all kinds of fever. Apparently they took that stone and crushed it, and it was good for fevers. Simrasai, by the way, Hirashi says, Simrei is chulishikor and fever, <laughs> fever. But Simrasabra, if you have uh, external fever, and you're hot on the outside, I guess, Lay say plus a grievy sufli. Bring three grievum is like also like a uh, a saw. It's a large amount, a, a, a large amount. It's a volume, a measure of uh, date pits, sufli or date pits, not seeds that we talked about on off, but these are pits. The plus a grievy atra atra and three again three saw three measures of uh, edder leaves. That's a plant also. Shishmo edder edder leaves. And boil them, boil each one by itself. In other words, the date pits and the um, edri leaves should be boiled separately. Sit between them. Put them each in a separate basin. And bring a table. The Nanachalet sit on the table. And if you put the table on top of one of these basins, one had the uh, date pits and one had the leaves. The uh, Nikomela and sit on top. Uh, and get up from one and go sit on the other one. In other words, move from move the table from on top of one basin to the other basin, and each time sit on top of that table, ad the nisik havla until the vapors of those hot items that have been boiled come into them. In other words, how are you getting rid of um, of a fever by boiling these items and getting the vapor? Absorbing the vapor in your nose, right? That's uh, what we used to get rid of uh, uh, things like uh, get rid of uh, of fevers. But lishiminayu and bathe in them, bathe in those concoctions. The chishasi mimaya when you drink them, lishiminayu. The chishasi mimaya the adrolish. You should drink from the water of the leaves that were boiled, the leaves. Mimaya the sufalosh. You don't drink from the water of the date pits that was that was boiled. Mishum demakra because they can cause sterility. But Simmer for an internal fever, right? Uh, Lacey Shiva Boney de Silke, you should bring se- uh, s- uh, seven handfuls, um, seven handfuls of um, beets, Mishab Shari, Mishab Shari, from six, seven different rows. And it's not from the same row of beets, but you should bring seven, um, seven handfuls, not from the same row, each from a different row, uh, where it grows in a bed, a different, a different bed of beets, the Shakinaba fry and boil them in their dirt. In other words, don't wash them off first. Then echel and eat those. Then nishte and afterwards nishte um, atraf adra. And then drink the uh, uh, the eider leaf mixture of with strong drink. 
that's another solution for the uh, for the internal fever. Oh, in betala b'maya b'mayim, or drink uh, the um, uh, the in begefen the, um, the grapes which were hanging on a tree. Drink that in water. Lachazisa for uh, a skin disease. Rashi calls it yabel uh, yalefet. That's mentioned mentioning the Torah yalefet, right? Uh, for a skin disease, um, lacy shev chiti. Uh, he calls it also lichens, some sort of a uh, skin disease. Lacy shev chite arzanaisa. He brings seven fat, like uh, juicy um, wheat, wheat uh, uh, pieces of wheat, right? Uh, seven uh, fat, fat, you know, seven pieces of, of, of wheat, seven kernels. The neklinu and uh, roast them on a like on a new shovel on the on the on the metal part of a new shovel or a new hoe. And when the juice comes out of it, when the oil, the juice comes out of it, the nation and rub that on the skin. Now we're talking about an external problem to a, an external problem, an external solution. He did this for a guy. The, the, the guy had davracha, which Rashi says is saras. He had leprosy. He was healed. This is a good solution for skin diseases. Amr Shmuel, Haiman de Mochule. The Persians, when they would spear somebody with like a lance or a spear, they would put some poisonous, uh, that some poison on the uh, on the uh, spear that would kill the person that, that was poisonous for the, so the person would die. So if he was speared by that, he won't live. Meanwhile, he's while he's dying, Nesvule Bisrish may have given him some fat meat, agumri on coals, the Hamrachaya and undiluted wine. At least this will help him survive for a little bit of time. Umif get a basis so he can give instructions to his house, meaning he could leave them a will before he dies. In other words, he's definitely he's got a mortal wound and it's poisonous. So there's no way to solve it, but you can delay his death by a little bit, give him time to uh, to instruct to his family. Umravini Barabin, I'm on the Bola Zibor. If a person swallowed a wasp or a hornet. Mechil chay also he can't live that's fatal. Adachav meanwhile nashke revias of the chal give him give him the drink a revias of vinegar shamzag or shamgaz is a gears and some. What does it mean by shamgaz? So Rashi says a very strong strong vinegar. Efshel chay put maybe it'll it'll cause it'll help him live a little bit longer. Mafkin a basin he give instructions to us before he dies. I'm sure my lady. Achol baser shor. If a person ate, um, uh, you know, meat, baser shor, or an ox, uh, that's you know, cow meat, steak, belefis and turnips, belunda lebana, and he slept outside under this under the moon, the lily dollar tesvav on the fourteenth or fifteenth, the tukuba salmon's in the middle of the summer. You know, it's not a good healthy thing to do. Achzas achilu, he'll get this fever called achilu, and it's going to get because he, you know, he ate this fat, heavy steak with turnips and slept outside in the middle of the hot summer. Um, he's going to get this fever called the chilotana. If you eat anything too much, don't overeat. So he's going to get this achilo. Achilo comes from overeating. Overeating, you see, the gemara is not healthy. Amra papa, afilo metamre, even from dates, even from dates. If you eat too many dates, also you'll be sick. You'll get achilo. Says gemara pshita. Yeah, anything. Why should dates be different? So I might think all of them. Since we've learned that tamre mesavna, dates are very healthy. They satiate you. Umeshachnan. Rashi says that meshachnan um, means they warm you up. Umeshalshlan, and they make you. Let's say they regulate you. You know, it helps you go to the bathroom. Umeashran, and they make you uh, give you strength. But umefakan, they won't spoil you. And it's got all the good qualities. It fills you up and makes you and regulates you and makes you strong. But it won't spoil you too much. I might think, you know, dates, eat as much as you want, eat your fill. Hey, Malo, I might think that's not a problem. Kamash one, anything too much is not good. My achil, what exactly is that people? Amr Blazer, Eish Shalasamas. It's the fire of the bones. My Shalasamas, Amr Baya, Eish Garmi. That's exactly what it is. It sounds means it's you feel fire in your bones. My Asusi, what's the solution? What's the remedy? Amr Baya, Amr Liyem, my mother told me, Kulu, all the other remedies, all the other remedies that we've been talking about, right? Call Mashkin before all the other things that you drink before there's a certain million yam and listosum, there's a certain amount of days. Rash says, some are three days, some are seven days, yeshman yum, shani plus of a shiva place. They're either three days, seven days, or twelve days. But hi, this solution we talk about for this uh fever called achilu, adamatsi, adamatsi, uh until you, you keep drinking until you get healed. Kulushkin, all the other drinks that you drink. I'll leave a rake on an empty stomach. You know, he's supposed to eat this on an empty stomach. Oh, the high busted off of this, you, you, you drink this after you ate and drank. And you relieve yourself. 
Vinafik and you went out and Moshe having you washed your hands. Umaisule, and what did they bring him? Buna, they bring him a handful of shesisa. We bring him a handful of shesisa, which is what? Rashi says here, Bulir uh, shesisa, the talfi. In other words, you bring a, um, a handful of machalas uh, and is made from, shesisa is made from lentils and flour, lentil flour and salt. The shesisa, the talfi means it's, it's this concoction made of lentil flour and salt. Buna de hamritika and uh, like a handful, that equivalent of old wine, and you roll them together, knead them together, body of daddy, you ate that, and then wrap yourself in in uh, blankets, and go to sleep. Nobody should wake him up until he gets up on his own. When he gets up, he says, You take that, that blanket, you take away the blanket, because if you don't take the blanket away, once he wakes up, it will come back on him. So all these are solutions. This is the solution for this kind of a fever that comes from overeating. But you see, overeating is not good, not good. And uh, tomorrow's Gemara, which we'll say maybe one more a couple of lines here more, is uh, tells us not, uh, not medical solutions for problems that already exist. We saw one solution is if you drink good wine, you won't have uh, inflammation of the spleen. But here he tells you, starts with this next line, Amalei Elio, we're even with Gilead Ashas. Amalei Elio, Elio Anubi, told Rav Nassim, Achol Shilish, Eat a third, fill your stomach up with a third food, a third drink, and leave a third empty. Don't eat till you're full. When you get angry, that will fill you up. Anger fills up your belly too. Now you'll be full. And Rashi says, because if you fill yourself up with food, if you fill up your belly with food and drink, when you get angry, you'll blow up. <laughs> you'll blow up. That's going to happen. So now, Tanir of uh, uh, he is going to start t- tomorrow's stop. You're going to see that uh, these are uh, advice for not so that you won't come to get sick. What should you do? These are all the other things were solutions. Now we're going to tell you things that you should do to avoid problems, not getting sick, not run into problems, and how to strengthen yourself, etc. That'll be on tomorrow's stop. So we're finished with the medicine. Now we've got good uh, medical advice. That'll be tomorrow's stop. Have a good day, everybody. Talk to you. Yeah,